Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and whatever else is watching, my name is Nick and you are watching the continuation of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. And I appreciate you watching and I thank you for it and I hope you will enjoy this episode. For that I would also appreciate it if you would leave your thoughts and comments in the comments below about this game, about this video and well maybe something you want to get off your mind. All in all I thank you all for watching and I hope to you will enjoy it. So let's now continue shall we? Well I am actually. Although I tried surfing once and that didn't really go very well. I couldn't even get on the board. Or well, better yet, I could get on the board but a second later I would be dropped off by the waves again. I couldn't stay on the board, that's the problem. That's one big cola bottle. Yeah, don't really drink that all at once or you end up with diabetes. I bet it go flat before you could even finish drinking it. A vending machine, what the heck is this vending machine? Looks like a vending machine, but it doesn't seem to accept money. Do I have to use some type of coin? Oh god, we're in the Monokuma coins and we have to get presents, don't we? Yeah, we do. Who are you? I thought you were the one who called Pico, but... Peeking. Peeking. Okay. Hello. Oh, hi! Hi! Who are you? Oh, hi! I'm Hajime! Well, actually, I'm uh, Nick, and he is Hajime, the character. Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello! Hello! Your tension is super low! Are you feeling alright? I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling really good, because I'm here with you, you're energizing me. Oh. Ah, that's right, introductions are go-go. E, Buki, Mio, Da, put it together and what do you get? E, Buki, Mio, Da. You know, that sounds like a cheerleader, but you don't look like a cheerleader. I don't think they would accept piercings like that as a cheerleader. But then again, who am I to complain? And Hajime spells Hajime and N E K spells Nick. <laughs> Ultimate musician. She's a musician? All right, introduction productions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see, I see. They got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta, ooh, melons. No problem. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Uberi would shop here. The Dutch also, because they really like something that's not really sold outside of the Netherlands. <laughs> so, man, I'm getting hella stoked! I'm 31 flavors of stoked for all this deliciousness. And when I'm excited, I get hungry, hungry. Really? That does not seem to show on your figure, though. You must be controlling yourself really well, because I can't! I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hung hungry when I'm in excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? Well, most of the time when you get excited, you're actually expending more uh, energy and therefore your body functions accelerate. So, when expanding energy, it tries to also try to replenish it and that's what the hunger is always for. But then again it also means that you have an empty stomach. <laughs> yeah, the human body sure is a mystery. 
Um, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play the guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school students and girls. Apparently the hit single After School Pyongyon Hour sold over a million copies. A super popular all-girl high school band. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Sayaka. Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Oh my my! Are you interested? What? You could hear me? <laughs> Duh, Ibuki's a musician after all. Like Schubert, Buck, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez and Senna. Oh, actually Van Gogh. I too am an awesome musician. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. <laughs> That's a little bit blunt. Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians after all. At all. Actually... Don't sweat the details. <laughs> oh, she's definitely interesting. <laughs> she's an interesting one. Let's go. Uh... Ibuki, bye. Mihan, bye. Oh, this was fun. First island. Uh, okay. We've got an airport! Where's the entrance? Eh? Where's the entrance? No entrance. So we're all standing in front of the fence then? No. Okay, the weird dude. Welcome to paradise! Up in the left corner. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be planes. Although probably... Out of fuel. Could we use those planes to escape this island? Uh. Nah, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them. But it looks like these planes are just for show. So they don't have engines. Just for show? Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Wait, you're a mechanic? That's so cool! Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that right. The same person who is controlling that stuffed animal, Usami? But who is doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? How did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya. Nice to meet ya, Soda. You know, I had packed you for a different type of per person, but yeah, that seems to be me jumping at conclusions again. First impressions are always right thing to do, but... Well, you seem like a cool dude. Ultimate mechanic. <laughs> As expected from someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it's truly beyond repair. Even so, that actually to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here for, must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. No. Uh. That was mentioned in the safety precautions for this school trip. Remember? 
the school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook. Yeah, I know. Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Glittering is not allowed, let us coexist. Uh, yeah. For now. It looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Sami said earlier. It seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know? What? Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Well, in the previous game, they th also thought it was forcing them to come here, but it actually ended up that they were volunteering to come here. And what the heck is in the right side going on? Is the same baggage coming over and over the whole time? <laughs> Situation with a bit more hope. And you know, optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. Dude, you're really creeping me out a little bit. That's right. Well, I guess it's okay. If we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? Yeah, if we all get our hope fragments, then it wouldn't be that uh, that dumb a thing, now nah, would it? <laughs> <laughs> if you stare closely at that strange looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. What the heck are you into? I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. But then again... It's going as far to completely remove the plane's engine. Do they want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? Well, this could have been an air museum. Because in an uh, airplane museum they also take out the engines of every plane. And who are you then, dear sir? What kind of voice was that? Stop right there if you value life. Do not come any closer. Huh? Hmm, I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What the heck are you about? What's this guy talking about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name? What does me see your courage as recklessness? However, I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. Well, remove the H and you have the my favorite anime seri series, so uh, you may call me. You will want to rule this world. Ooh, are you an evil scheming dude? Ah, I guess this won't be much. Most of the times the people who shout that out will at, uh, end up doing nothing. Ultimate breeder. Breeder of what? rule this world? He's kidding right. If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now then, it's my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Huh? You! Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me! Huh? What do you mean pact? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! Answer me now, though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab. We passed around in elementary school. Actually. 
Yeah, I, at my home we had several dogs and several cats. Impossible. So a mere insect. Face your powerlessness. Ha! Your magic essence caps at a lowly five. Trash. I don't know what to think of you. Are you a LARPer or something? Trash, really? Meal. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me. Well, I don't know. My name is Gundam Tanaka. Who do you think I am? I'm the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of ice. With all kinds of hamsters on your uh, guinea pigs on yourself? Hold on a minute. Something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! Taming evil by using myself as a bat. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's like something you'd see uh, on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of Ultimate Reader. <laughs> One of my do four dark divas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has this to say. We're not used to go easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. Fuhahaha! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I know he seems a little bit odd. But apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame any animal and even manage to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. <laughs> speak with animals. Well, he's certainly eccentric enough to, in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. Ah, so he's actually not evil, he's just... Ah, caring and adoring. How nice. Uh, a pineapple? <laughs> the, the, the pineapple, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Is a pineapple? Who would put a pineapple that big on a <laughs> transport? Oh, like a transport. Give it, yes. Okay, airport. Okay. And we're back at the beach. So, what was the map again? Map. Beach. Those dudes. Those two. A little girl and... Oh yeah, the rest. So, I guess... Central I... Oh, that's go. <laughs> that means go. Central Island is the last thing we need to visit then. Hajime. Hajime. It looks like if we go across this bridge, we can reach another island. It's not far from here. Is it safe? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going there to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will you do? Well, I don't know. Central Island. What does the map say about this thing? We have Byakya over. Okay. And let's take a run. Well, we run a lot, we run a lot, we run a lot. There's a lot of running here. 
How do we get to the chapel? Oh. This is island number 5. With a tower in the background, a lighthouse. Interesting. Then this becomes island number 4. I should have gone the other way then. Yeah. And in the. Three. Also gated up. Actually, for something running. Oh, that's a Jabber Walk Park. Okay. That's where we have to go later. Two. Which is still locked up. And this is them one again, isn't it? Yeah, this is. Okay, this is a weird map. I'm really. Un I really don't know. It makes it also a little bit. In well, incohesive. Oh, incohesive. It makes it a little bit. Well, disjointed. That's what I have to say. Although, Shante, uh, the original Shante used this kind of system. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. It looks like there's another island on the other side of the bridge, but it seems we can't cross it. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Okay, and probably this is the final stop that we, we have to make for the prologue. Before the first chapter actually starts. So this is a park. Okay. Yes, yes. A park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> it feels so nice. Such a laid back attitude. But if we weren't in an in situation like this. I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the keyword... How are you, your introduction going? I'd like to inform you about another feature. You may have already noticed, but you have a level assigned to you. Yeah? It's displayed on the top right corner of your screen. Yeah? I was wondering about that. Your level increases by performing various actions such as walking, examining and talking to others. Oh god. I have to examine everything. Every time you level up you will become stronger than you were before. What do you mean with stronger? The number of skills you can equip will also increase so please try your hardest to level up often. Wait. What's this? A bronze statue of various animals. Plus it's pretty huge. It has a lion I guess, a snake, a horse, a human rider and a hawk or something. Or is it an eagle or whatever. Amazing! Wow, what a grand statue! Yeah, it's grand, but isn't it also kind of creepy? What? You think so? I think it looks splendid. I mean, look at it. It probably symbolizes the whole island. Does it? It sure is grand. This island's symbol, huh? Okay, so... A park surrounded by the ocean. It sure feels... Yeah. Byakuya, why are you in this game? What do you want? What do you want? And what the, Why are you so fat? This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Hey. Hey, Byakuya. Have time for a small introduction? Hmm. Introduction? 
Come on, Hajime. Um, hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. My name is Byakuya Togami. Why are you in this game? Why are you among these people? Shouldn't you have been in the other class? So how come you are on the, this island all of a sudden? Why? What's happened to your weight? Ultimate affluent progeny. I'm done. That's it. Right? Back off. I can tell this guy is tumbling his nose at me. Well, I suppose that's Byakia for you. What do you mean? Actually, that guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. And according to the previous game, that conglomerate does not exist anymore. He's already begun managing the business operations and his net worth is well enormous. How admirable. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. He's like a manga origin story. Hey, <laughs> what? You there, Hajime, was it? Huh? Tell me, why did Hope Speak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Well, we don't know. Um, the thing is... I honestly can't remember. What? You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently he's lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. Hmm, how foolish. Um, yes. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Listen. Move along, that's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. What the heck happened to this g dude? <laughs> Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. I'm so many questions. His build and that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. This is what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny. Okay, level up again. Ding dong, bing bang. What? Where are the monitors? Oh yeah, there was one to the right, I thought. Was that a school bell just now? Huh? That's right, look at the monitor over there. Congratulations, everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm... I'm so happy! So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all. What to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. What? Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried. But it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. And I guess Byakya already went. So. Let's follow then. And I think the shortest part was to the right, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's run. As it seems to level me up as well. Just running. Oh, what does that pet want? Just the last time that I'm checking. What the frick? Hmm. 
What the freak was that? That's why I don't want to do this stuff. It interrupts. Oh, oops. Um, I think the beach was over here, wasn't it? No, that's the airport. The beach is the other way around. Wait, what? That's not correct. The beach should be here. This is the beach. Doesn't look like it much, but this is the beach. Okay, let's see what we are getting here. Such ignorance. You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dilly dallying for? <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, that's all right. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> let's talk. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. Now that you mention it. I happen to know m notice numerous blocked off bridges on the central island. Oh! Oh, those are there so everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them and that rabbit showed up and told me so. So I'm telling the truth. Hiya! What? So we don't get lost? Is this ri island really so big? Now I think they're gonna open up after some events happen. Oh no, it's gonna be a killing game after all. <laughs> but if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! There's a big ranch! There's also a large supermarket too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living amenities. Hmm. The hotel was really nice too. It'd be great if you can stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel was also very nice. It seemed to cater to a more plebeian taste. Hey. Can you guys listen to what I want to say? Two. No. I found something very important on this island. Girls. Very, very cute girls. Aha. Uh -huh. All over the place. These are your classmates. Although, yes, they are cute. Well, and it's not uncommon to date classmates. But. To be so blunt about it. Please, dude. Gross. I'm getting goosebumps. All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth that we can't get off. The most serious truth. Not possible. If no one here realized it, you're all bigger fools than I thought. What did you say, you fat bastard? Don't be talking all big and shit. And there is also everywhere a monitor. And a camera. Such Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. Most serious truth. Hmm. What does he mean? Well, we could ask him. Oh. Uh -oh. Go everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So that guy figured it out as well. You know. Two Gundam? What, what is it? If you wish to know, you must pay my price. After all, this world is ruled by the law of e equivalent exchange. Stay back. However, is someone like you capable of offering a tribute that would satisfy a tyrant such as myself? He probably doesn't know what it is. That's what I would guess as well. Now we're going to go to Nagita. So, seems everyone has explored this island. And just as Isumi said, 
There seems to be no danger. Byakuya said he found something though. I wonder what that is. What is it? I wonder what Byakuya found. Since he's acting so mysterious and stuff, he probably found something big. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, if you're gonna talk to me about something boring, I'm just gonna swim, okay? Well, I wouldn't mind that, okay? Akani? You just do your own thing. Sammy's coming here too. And let's hurry up, chop chop. What a free spirit. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, man, there are so many people to go over, but that would really drag it out, so... Do you have a clue? Whoever. Despite how big the this island is, I cannot believe it is uninhabited. Just what in the world is going on here? I do hope this supposed truth Yakia has found will provide us with a hint. Yeah... Princess. Okay, Byakya, yeah, what did you find? Hey, what's the most serious truth? Did did you find out something about this island? Hmm. Have you all gone to the park that's across the, uh, the bridge? Yeah. The park with that weird bronze statue all of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. Well, I saw it. I remember the story I heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island, surrounded by five different islands. It's also said that the five holy animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Huh? Listen. That island's name is Jabberwock Island. Okay. Could it be? Could this island be Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Uh, actually, the, it said that it was Dangan Island. Very strange. Still, there's something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... Hmm. Never mind. Well, please share, will ya? Hold on! Hold it right there! That's a rather incomplete story you've told us. Don't worry. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. Uh. I don't care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papua uh, Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we all gotta live here, right? Yahoo! Living together on this tropical island sure is exciting. I'm super looking forward to it. Right on, this ain't a bad school at all. Hey, you guys. I like this island too. Can't say the same about the rest of you, Cretan. I'm not liking this girl. Did I hear something? I'm still worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. Yeah, since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey! Listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope Speak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Okay, Gundam. Huh? To tell you the truth. Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way, way we can. <laughs> There's no ship, and the planes are just for show. It appears. From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, 
it would be impossible to call for help. Um. Then why don't we just sh swim home? It's impossible. There's no way we can swim that far. She can probably. Show some spirit. What? Are you stupid? I'm telling you, that's impossible. Then what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? I won't let you. You can't do that. That's the biggest of no-nos. Got it? Please recall the guidelines of this school trip. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island bound for nature in mutual prosperity. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this uh, beautiful tropical island. What's with these rules? Who cares about that? That's enough. Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? What kind of danger would you ta be talking about? What danger? It's a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. Like what? Hajime. Hajime, I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now. For now, as long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there's no danger. Yep. And as long as we gather the hope fragments. We'll be able to get off this island soon. You're all just gonna believe that. <laughs> There's no other choice but to believe. For now, that is. Hey, hey! Anyway, Sami, what is this pre present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Whoa! Ah, that's all right. That's right. Well, of course I didn't forget. Love. love love, this is it. Don't be upset, I've prepared one for you all, so don't worry. What is this? <laughs> it's a Nosami strap. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami, magical miracle girl Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. Oh, that isn't creepy after uh, at all, is it? <laughs> isn't it cute? Love, love. What a waste of time. Aww. Man, and I got hopes up too. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. You think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute, especially how the ears look like it in rabbits. Well, Usabi does mean rabbit, you know? Regardless, a large number of Usami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everybody received their strap, they just tossed them on the beach. You can't taint nature with trash. See, even you think they're trash. Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. And I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you, bad kids. Okay. I have something else? Um. Well, compared to the Sami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I've prepared a motif for everyone. A motif? Hey. That's right, a motif for everyone to get along. Man, this direction is so much different than the first game. Their motive was to kill everyone. We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island themed. <laughs> like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? <laughs> Correct! Wow. Is it a festival or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful! Anyway. Excuse me, Miss Sonia. <laughs> My loins are still full of poison and I appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. 
I need to punch this dude really badly. Wait. Knock it off, Teru Teru. Right. Oh, you're 10 lines, you betcha. That's... Just ignore him, Sonia. If we're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be a barbecue or something. Uh. A campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill. Let's find a hoop, a hoop snake, and kill it. What? You serious? Is looking for one not enough for you? It seems everyone has different ideas, but if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first... This is what it's all about. This is A swimming bag. Love, love. Correct, love love. Whoa. Oh, then that means... That's right, I have swimsuits for everyone. Well, it's cool swimsuits actually. I hope that's okay. Are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? Yes. It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just, if you want to go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. Ah, Hajime! Just go swimming for a little bit. What danger is there in swimming? There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. I guess the other ones are actually th uh, thinking things differently, and I have to agree with them. That's huh? right. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With weather this nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. Not to mention, Hajime, if you play along with this, you can observe what is going on and then probably take good action based on that. Even my loins. Teo, Teo, I. Your tender loins. I understand. Wait. Seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey. How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? All oh, right, let's go change. Those of us who were exciting to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from Usami. And went straight to the hotel to change. What are you going to do, Hajime? Well, best thing is to play along now. Hajime. I understand how you feel and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After he said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. There's nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? Hmm. hmm. What is it? Usami, huh? you're not gonna swim, Hajime. Hmm. How can I get you to believe me? There's no way I, I can believe her. You're not going to swim. <laughs> nah, it's more fun to step on the crabs walking on the beach. What is this? This is the beginning of a sociopath, cruelty to animals. I see. So it looks like she's staying too. That's unexpected. She seems like the more active type. Hey, you're not gonna swim? Of course I am. Why? Then why didn't you go with the others to change? I don't need to change. All I gotta do is take off my clothes. No, what about your swimsuit? There's no way I'm, go I'm gonna wear something as embarrassing as a school swimsuit. She's just 
wrong about so many things, and yet Theo Theo would really like to see her take off all the clothes. So let's hurry and swim! With those words, Akani quickly began taking off her. Whoa! Yeah. Hey there! Shameful behavior like that is a no-no. If you're going to swim, you gotta wear a swimsuit. So annoying. Yeah, what a pain. Phew, phew. <laughs> ah, speaking of which, everyone has returned. As Usami said, I turned around and. I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. Yahoo! Yay! The sea! Uh, the water is so cool! It feels great! Oh, uh, too salty! This water's too salty! It's not going easy on me! Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? Oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? Eh? Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. What the heck? a little too open. Like you're covering too many bases by yourself. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? It feels like the resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun, I... Yep, yep, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. Let's keep up the peace and all our do our and all do our best to peacefully enjoy this hard throbbing school trip. Yeah, maybe this game is different. Maybe there's no killing at all. Even though there are some people who are actually on the verge of doing that. Hmm. What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? Oh please, Hajime, just change into a swimsuit already. Okay? Fine, I just gotta do it, right? Then, I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it! Hajime, did something happen? Hey, hand me over those swim one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying like... I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys! Don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? 